Hey kids, this is the second video in a series of videos I call the 12 power levers that can help you build and monetize your coaching and consulting business. Check out the feed for the introduction video where I cover all the 12 power levers, but this one right here is about power lever number one, your website and social media platforms as a coach and a consultant. Before I dive in to tell you what you need to know about that sexy topic, I want you to do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything on this channel. I release a new video every single Tuesday and Thursday and I'm extremely active in the comments. So let's dive in. What kind of website and social media stuff do you need as a coach or a consultant and what should they be called and what do they look like? So let's start with a website. As a coach or a consultant, it's very important to build trust and intimacy with our prospects. The best way I have found to do this is to create a website for yourself under your name. So mine is Lindsay A, yours might be Joe Anderson, right? And we would put that under a .com. Now don't freak out, okay? These are just recommendations, but it, in an effort to build your expertise and authority online, it's very important that we do just that. And the best way to do that is to not hide behind a website of your company, but to put yourself out there as the expert and authority that you are. Now that does not mean that you can't have a website that has all your packages and all your services. I have one of those. I've run a digital marketing agency for 15 years. It's called Traffic and Leads. If you wanna know how to generate more traffic and leads for your business, you're welcome to go over to that website and check it out. But I am an expert, I am an authority. I am the number one, if you didn't know, expert in helping coaches and consultants build their brand and monetize their services. And you can go find out about me as an expert, my blogs, my content, my packages, my one-on-one -on -one coaching, how you can feature me on your podcast, how you can have me come and speak at your event. Me, as a entity, as a person, you will find at lindsayacom And I highly recommend that you set one of those up for you as well. We call that a personality website. Now, don't think that I'm gonna make you go out and hire some WordPress developer and pay thousands and thousands of dollars for a fancy schmancy website. I have good news for you, okay? The good news is this does not have to be fancy. You can totally go to Wix or Squarespace and get one of those websites. What I want is it's a website about you, as I mentioned, where your blogs are, where your services are, and how to contact you, and how to invite you to do the things you want to do as a coach or an expert or an authority. So these websites are amazing. I probably wouldn't have been saying this years and years ago when I first got into web development, but I'm saying that now. Wix, Squarespace, all of these things have great templates, totally doable. So spend a little bit of time, get one of those websites, create a personality site for your business. You as a coach can be elevated, you can charge more, and your authority status will be available to your clients. So that is what I recommend. Number two, social media platforms, same kind of thing there, right? As we're trying to build trust and authority with people, sometimes we hide behind a company name. Hey, this is Traffic and Leads. Seems a whole lot less scary than, hey, my name is Lindsay Anderson, right? There is my name, there is my face, versus logo and company name. But as a prospect or someone looking for someone to help me get from point A to point B, I want to make a connection with someone. I want to know someone. So I highly recommend as a coach or a consultant, your Instagram, obviously your LinkedIn will be, your Facebook, all of your Twitter, all of these are not as a company, but as a person. So put your name out there, put your picture out there and be social on social media. Now, I understand there's mindset issues here, but I'm asking you to work through them. As you're out there on social media, canvassing for prospects, I'm telling you the intimacy and the trust will be so much better if you're interacting as yourself. Hey, extra tip while I'm thinking about it, the same goes for any email blasts that you write, right? If you are in MailChimp and you send a weekly newsletter or a weekly email or you invite people to different things, so many times people will put the from name on these emails as your company or as something that's not your name. 
When people read email, we want them to hear from you. So go check the from name on your email autoresponders and make sure it's coming from you. When people hire us for our expertise to help them with whatever their problem is, they want to make a connection with you as a coach or a consultant. And all of a sudden, when we're speaking as a company, like I said before, we're hiding, right? And whether that's mindset issues or you didn't think about it or whatever the reason is, I'm here to tell you, we have to build intimacy online. And without putting that wall up there, we'll definitely go a long ways towards increasing intimacy. So there you have it. That's what you need to know as a coach or a consultant for your website and your social media profiles. Make sure you check out the YouTube channel for the other 12 power lovers and I'll see you on the next video.